Hello and welcome to Numerous to Cool, bringing you the picks of the day for Monday, July 29th. It is 2.28 p.m. here in Portugal, which makes it 9.28 uh, a.m. New York time and 6.28 a.m. California time in the U.S. Let's start, as always, by reviewing the picks from last time. So we had a rough day yesterday, 0 for 3. Uh, Rockies lost by 1. They... Uh, had a little bit, they managed to score a run in the top of the ninth, but couldn't get any more. And so we didn't get that win as a big upset. And then our two totals games were both winning going into the ninth inning and uh, and then lost them both in the ninth. Cubs-Royals, it was 4-3 uh, going into the ninth. And then the Cubs scored uh, several runs to take it over. And then uh, Yankees-Red Sox, uh, also was a 7-2 going into the ninth, and Yankees put on one more run to make it go 8-2. So lost both the both those under bets uh, very close, but upshot is we are now combined totals and money line. We're up about five units on the season. The totals model is up about 10.6 units, and the money line is down about 5.6 units. And then on the spreads, we didn't have any bets, so we're just uh, remain up 1.66 units for the season. Let's move on to today's action, starting with the money lines. Here's the full set of games. I believe we've dropped one game. Uh, the second game of the Blue Jays, Orioles doubleheader does not have the pitcher listed yet. So uh, scrolling down, Miles is finding one thing to take a look at, and it's the White Sox uh, hosting the game at the Royals. Against the Royals, says to bet the White Sox at plus 138. Let's take a look at the money lines. And you can see we can get 155 here at South Point, plus 155. So let's go ahead and do that. I always groan a little bit when the model tells me to bet on the White Sox. But uh, follow what the model does. Follow what the model says. It uh, does not have emotion, does not hold grudges, um, and it does not get angry at teams if they continue to lose after you bet on them. That's all we have for money lines. Let's look at the totals. And here again, see the same games and the points and the over-under probabilities. And it's telling us to look at two unders. First is the Red Sox Mariners at eight and a half. It says to take the under if you can get plus 108. It's probably a stretch, but let's take a look. So Red Sox Mariners, that's over here, eight and a half under. And we got more, minus 105 across the board. One place is minus 103, but um, we're not getting anywhere near the plus 108 that the model is asking for. So no bet on that game. Next up, the Mets and the Twins, point also eight and a half. Model wants plus 104. Again, probably a reach, but let's take a look. And yeah, we're getting minus 115 across the board, as good as minus 112 a couple places, but uh, not good enough to bet on, so no bet there. So it looks like we'll have no bets on the total set. Moving on to the spreads. Here's the set of games we got and the desired prices for the model. And uh, the one game to look at, again, it's the White Sox hosting the Royals. It says White Sox plus one and a half. You should bet it if you get minus 112 or better. Let's take a look. And yeah, you can see at Circa we can get minus 109. So we'll do that again. Don't love doubling up on any team, let alone the White Sox. But uh, we follow the model. And the model is saying we can get this at minus 109. All right, and that's all we got for today. So uh, we just got the White Sox. <laughs> Our whole day depends on the White Sox. Uh, got them on the money line, plus 155. Got them on the spreads, plus one and a half at minus 109. That's all we got for today. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.